So I'm gonna uh, talk about my research paper on my architecture history. Um, so the topic for this paper is ethnocentrism and cultural relativism. So I will start with um, going to google.com because I usually use this and um, search engine for whatever I'm like I'm looking for when I'm looking for sources. And uh, I will type in ethnocentrism first. And to make sure I know the definition, like, because mm, the first thing usually pops up is Wikipedia, but like, since my professor said Wikipedia is not reliable and it should not be adopted in any of my, um, any of my academic writing. So that I will just like take a look, make sure I understand the definition, and then I will see some place like the Merriam Webster, like the dictionary. So I think it is very reliable so that I can click on that website. Okay, so it's loading now. Um, so ethnocentric in this dictionary means having a based on the idea that you, your uh, your own group or culture is better or more important than others. So now I understand the basic concept. Okay, so for other sources, I'm looking for my paper. So I'm gonna talking about um, that when uh, in the 16th century, when Europeans came to the United uh, the North America and how they kind of like forced upon the Native Americans and uh, and like because they think their culture was much more advanced than others. So I will type in the keyword as um, European. Oh wait, it, it should be colonial, colonial time. Yeah, colonial period. So that, and then I will. I found a website that is reliable here. Um, yeah, it, it says it's a scholastic.com. So I think I will evaluate that when I click on it. Um, and um, so okay, I didn't know this web if this website is reliable or not, so I will change one. Mm. Oh, okay, so I found a history I found history.com, so I think this is the one of the most reliable sources I can use for my paper. So I will go to this website and evaluate all the information they provided. Um, so I think I found the history background I need here. So I will save this website for later on when I'm actually writing my paper. And then I'm looking for an example of architecture I need to use in my paper, which is called Kiva. Um, it was a spiritual room or something like that, like sort of like church for Christianity, like for Native Americans. So I will type in the Kiva as my keyword and um, in Google, yeah. So, and yeah. When I just type in the keyword, it doesn't really give me the information I need. So I will put more keywords to identify what I actually want. Um, for this part, I will say um, Native American. Yeah, so that the building I want actually comes up, comes out so that um. I found the, the sources I need at this moment. And also I will go to um, 
my university library base um, database because it's more reliable than other sort uh, searching engines. So I will go to the library. Oops. Okay, so here's my um, university library database. And uh, first thing I will type in is still ethnocentricity. And I will search for a, an article. And like, I will click on scholarly reviewed just to make sure Everything I found is reliable and I can use them at, afterwards. Okay, so I found that the sources I found is too general so that it doesn't really go with my paper. So I will put, um, I will type in another keyword as culture. So that it narrows down my topic and the sources. I don't need to read that much to find what I need. Okay, so, and this is another website I use. And so for, um, I'm using the third one and last website I use is TED Talk. So I usually go to the TED website because they have different sources and I think they are very reliable. Um, so, and I actually find something really useful for my paper this time at TED. And I think I typed in ethnocentrism again. And um, I can see some pages about this topic in the TED website. And that is all the sources and websites I use for my architecture history paper this time. And I think um, when you read it, um, I just need to, I just make sure that the website I went to are reliable and like that I'm uh, I just need to make sure that all the websites I went to are allowed to use in my paper so that um yeah so I think my paper will be reliable too it gives me some credibility as a as an author too and yeah I think that's it for my architecture history paper. Thank you.